What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Got a lot of great stuff this week. Excited to show it all. We're going to start with a video from Kendama USA featuring Wyatt Bray. I wanted to feature this video because my wife bought me a Kendama for Christmas, and it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I've mastered a few of the basic tricks, but I can't even begin to imagine what he's doing in this video. Even so, just like juggling, I find it really fun. If you haven't picked up a Kendama yet, I definitely recommend giving it a try. Next up, a video from C. Rim Perry. In this video, he shows off some pretty sweet three ring body roll patterns. I definitely love the creativity and how relaxed he looks while he's performing these tricks. This is a video of some practicing sessions from a Japanese juggling group called Juggling Unit Pentacle. This video came out this past week, but I was perusing their channel and found that they've got a lot of cool stuff, a lot of great ideas. You're definitely going to want to check out their stuff. Also, if anybody knows where I can get some of those clubs that are stackable like cups, I would really like some. Those are really neat. If you do happen to know, be sure to leave a comment. I haven't shown a video from David Nair in a while, but when I saw this, I couldn't help but feature it. He's passing 10 balls with Sack Wagner while force bouncing. In one minute between the two of them, there were 517 catches. That is truly amazing. Make sure you subscribe to David Nair's channel so you can continue to have your mind blown every single week. It seems like he's putting out new records every other day. Also, if you want to hear some really awesome technical talk about juggling, I would definitely recommend checking out the interview I did with David. Next up, I just wanted to show some more cardistry. I love how mesmerizing cardistry is, and I love that it's taking off. Seriously, YouTube cardistry and just see how many great videos popped up in just this past week. You won't regret it, and you'll see some pretty cool stuff. This video is by Wooji and Beyond, and if anybody knows of any other cardistry channels that are worth featuring, make sure you leave a comment so that I can show them in the future. We're going to slow it down a bit with this video from Komi. Normally we're used to seeing some contact and pop and lock juggling, but in this video we see what happens when you bring contact to cigar boxes. He's exploring all kinds of creative ways to manipulate those boxes around his body. What I take from this video is you don't necessarily have to be doing a super quick pattern to be doing something super complicated. Be sure to check out his whole video at his channel. This next video is from Artistic Productions and features Juan Share. In this outdoor amphitheater, Juan demonstrates some really crisp juggling moves. In this video by Heinz Juggle, you just have to look past the balls in the foreground and you'll see a gentleman juggling some beanbags in the stairwell. What you'll find is someone who's mastered passing beanbags all around his body. I would definitely recommend checking out his channel and subscribing. This video from Andreas Barra is called Juggling 2016. In this clip, you'll see him do some contact club work and some nice five club juggling. A little bit later in the video, he demonstrates some club back crosses as well. I'm really excited to see what comes out in 2017. Maybe we'll get some solid seven club work. Sorry to slow things down so fast, but how could I not mention Luke Burge releasing the results of the top 40 jugglers in the world. Hosted by Lewis Kennedy, you get a rundown of the top 40 jugglers. It's a lot of fun to watch, and it'll help you learn about some new jugglers. Definitely check out this video. Oops, no, no, he lives in Toulouse, sorry, in France. I think he studies at Lido. Hey, awesome juggler, go check him out. Next up, another video from Jared Jensen demonstrating some sweet multiplex work. I absolutely love how easy Jared makes multiplexing look. It doesn't matter how many balls he's throwing up, he's able to throw them up consistently each time. Likewise, he's able to catch just as many balls in each of his hands. Jared, you are the juggler I aspire to be like. Thanks for putting out great videos, and I hope you continue to post them and inspiring people around the world. I'm sure you all know about Scott Sorensen, but if you don't know about him yet, you've got to check out his stuff. He's constantly breaking records, and in this video, he breaks the record of balancing a club on his head while juggling six rings, and then a pole while juggling seven rings. You should definitely watch this whole video and subscribe to his channel.
This next video is by High Force from a Diablo competition. And in this video, a Japanese gentleman demonstrates some really technical and fast Diablo work. In addition to being able to watch a great Diablos, have you ever noticed that at Japanese competitions, everyone in the crowd is just so excited about what they're able to do? Love the attitude at Japanese juggling events. This brings me to my pick of the week, an Ethiopian juggler named Niba. Niba is clearly working to please a crowd, and I love how energetic he is as he juggles. Doesn't matter if he's juggling three clubs, four clubs, or five clubs, or what kind of trick he's doing, you can see just from this video, he's able to get the crowd excited about juggling. It makes me so happy that no matter where you are in the world, you're going to be able to find somebody that's great at juggling, and will do whatever it takes to help people enjoy it. What's up everybody, I'm Sean, thanks for sticking around. If you like what you saw, make sure you share, comment, like, and subscribe so that more people see this video and the channel will stick around. Wanted to remind you that last week I released my very first prop review video on drop prop beanbags. You can check it out there and you definitely want to because it's awesome. And also Friday this week is the last day you have to comment and subscribe on that video in order to be entered to win that set of five beanbags that I use in the review. Also, I recently did interviews with Reese Thomas and Burkhard Polster. Reese Thomas is a professional juggler. Burkhard is known as the Methologer on YouTube. Both really interesting. You want to check those out. Before I go, I just wanted to say those beanbags are the first thing I'm giving away in this channel, but I hope to give away a lot more stuff. So make sure you subscribe so that you'll know when stuff like that's happening. All right, that's all for this week. So until next time, keep on juggling. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, be sure to support the channel. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe.